Well, I had my first ever 5 a.m. session and 6.30 session uh, today at boot camp. It was a part of the new um, sessions that I'm running. So we're doing, I think it's like an additional six classes um, for about five weeks. I'm going to trial them. So far, so good. Um, the 5 a.m. class, there was actually 10 people, which was really good. And the 6.30, 30 minute class, there was only two. But never mind, not too bad. It's always the first week. Still sussing them out, seeing how they go. But I think it'll be good. I'm, I'm interested to know how this will work being a 5 a.m. then a 6.30 class, whether or not that's going to be something people are interested in attending. I had one person repeat that they did like the 5 a.m. plus the 6.30 class. So yeah, I, I'm obviously going to give it five weeks to see how the class fares. And then after that, if it's no good, I can can that 6.30 class and put it on another day or, or make a later class or something like that. But yeah, all in all, I think we did really well. I, it's, I'm excited. I'm enjoying having these extra classes. I see the benefit in them. People seem to be liking them. Um, so far, we've just done the cardio plus a body weight session today. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. What do you think, Cleo? What were they just talking about? The extra boot camp classes. Oh, I don't know about them yet. You have no input? Um, zero. Forget about it. <laughs> so the coffee you saw me making this morning, I thought it was, it tasted a bit different to normal. Like it had a coffee flavor, but it wasn't a strong coffee flavor. And even the color was slightly off. Um, I just thought, oh, that's weird. It doesn't look right, but I was in a rush. And to be honest, I didn't really want to stuff around with the coffee machine, but I've come home and I'm going to make another one because I've got really bad headache so I'm thinking I really didn't get much of a caffeine hit from it so I was emptying out the little capsule container of the empty ones the used ones and the one on top is the one that I used and it hasn't even been punctured so I was basically drinking dirty dish water hot water running through the pipes of the coffee machine. Hence the lack of caffeine hit, hence the headache, and now I feel a little bit dirty that I drank that dirty coffee water. Hmm. But take two on that, I'm having a proper coffee now. <laughs> I make my own coffee. I used to go buy one every morning, but now I just make my own because uh, I was finding that having normal milk was not really ideal. At first it wasn't so bad and then I think progressively over time drinking so much full cream milk made me a bit sick. So now I make mine with so good almond milk or any almond milk, basically whatever's on special, but I always get the unsweetened one, okay? Go the unsweetened because the other one tastes disgusting because they artificially sweeten it and it tastes really, really sickly. And I just have a Cafe Italia branded um, coffee machine. So I buy the Woolworths brand um, coffee capsules. And they're not too bad. I got espresso because I wanted a bit more stronger flavor, but I think I like the medium flavor better. And um, I have iced coffee. So I just fill my cup with ice, brew the coffee as normal. So just put it through the machine. And then I add cold milk and I have it that way. I don't particularly enjoy hot coffee, especially not in this crazy weather anyways, but I really, really enjoy it. Um, it's something I drink and with um, almond milk, the sugar content is really quite low. Like on this, you've got well 0.3 grams per serving. So it's it, there's no sugar and there's no lactose. Uh, it's very low carbohydrate. There's no gluten, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I enjoy it. It's, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, I definitely like the taste of full cream coffee, but it's not worth having a pain in the gut for, that's for sure. Well, I have my daggy hair dyeing shirt on, and I'm going to uh, just, in the end, I wasn't 100% happy with my hair. I did, I was a little patchy in, in some bits. I don't know, I, I'm guessing that was my application process and the fact that I was quite limited with the amount of color that I had left but 
I also was meant to on Sunday night when we had our big storm and we had a blackout. I was adding in an additional colour. I wanted to throw in some turquoise pieces again, but we lost power on Saturday, uh, Sunday evening, so I never got to finish that off. And so it's Wednesday now, and I'm going to finish that off. I am going to touch up some of those patchy pieces and try and cover some uh, with. The turquoise but I do like the the depth and the contrast that putting the turquoise does I had previously done it before but with a really really dark um, purple color through my hair instead oh my hair's falling out it's tickling me I'll link that other vlog in the description check it out um, again I'm still using the, the same brand bright um, and I rate it. I highly, highly rate it. And I love the product. So I just watch YouTube videos and get on their Instagram page. And I just go, you know, YouTube deep on them. I just love it. I think their stuff is great. And it's very easy application. So I'm basically just going to... What I've decided to do, I'm going to touch up the, the lavender. So I've got another lavender. I'm going to touch that one up. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to do that in the front section over the top so sort of like if my hair was out there was there's all lavender on top and when I pull my hair back there's all lavender here then I'm going to put some turquoise pieces through underneath here and then also adding them in under that um, top layer of purple so that it so that it just sort of flickers through the rest of the end I'll take my time with the processing um, and, sorry the application this time and make sure I get a better coat and make sure I you know really work it into the hair so again I've got my high-tech hair dyeing gloves and I've got my setup here ready to go and the best part is I bought this bargain um, mirror thing here it's a full-length body I scored it on Facebook for five bucks some dude was moving house or he's moving house and he sold it and I got two other mirrors so in total I got three mirrors for fifteen dollars and they're huge two are gonna go to my gym and then this one I'm gonna keep at home because I don't have a full mirror at home and it's really hard to check myself out now. So here's my setup again. I've got my pastel pink, lavender and turquoise. I've got my bowls, my brushes. I keep this um, towel down because my bench tops are white and I have my caffeine. All right, well, I've done it. I don't really know what it's gonna look like. I might have to do a couple of checks to make sure that I've rubbed it in enough on certain spots like I feel that's a bit dry that one I'd have to go put my gloves back on and go again but that's pretty much it I'm going to let that set for a little while and then wash out and hopefully I've got the look I was going for so just like that now I was a bit messy this time around I've got bloody blue crap all over my face green whatever you want to call it but I think it'll be alright I'm going to do a face mask let this soak in for a few minutes and then we'll rinse out like my shirt <laughs> I'm giving this one a go so how do we do this Okay, so it's a charcoal bubbling mask. You just have to rub the surface of the packet, put it on, and wait 10 15 minutes. Mm. Oh, it's already bubbling. Oh, what is that? Oh, it stinks. How big it thinks my chin is. Mm, it's up on my mouth. Ugh. Well, it doesn't take long to stop foaming up. That's cool. 
I might make sure it's not in my hair though. Ugh. Okay, that's going under the lip, that's nasty. Fun. Okay. Oh, it's itching me. Not the best coverage of mask, to be fair. Look, like, it's all the way under my chin. Oh, what's going on here? Dripping down. I wonder if this is just all for show, because it's like bubbling on the outside of the mask. I wonder if it's like even doing anything to my skin underneath. All right, well, I'll be back soon. Check it out. It's so bubbly. But do you know what? It's really funny, and I've only just realized, but it's like, 20 minutes before the school bell rings and I have to go pick Cleo up. Hmm. I think I should wash my face. Uh, I think I might leave my hair. I don't know if I'll have time to dry it. So I might just leave it in there a little bit longer but just can't get over this bubbling mask. Look at this. I sent a picture to Christopher, he said it looks like I have some sort of medical condition. And he hopes it works miracles. I am a miracle! Oh, you're so funny. Ooh, that's a bizarre feeling. Now, I'm gonna wash it off. I didn't wash off the, um, Oh, that was stuck on my face. Uh oh. Uh oh. Eh. Me. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, that's nice. Out to my eyes. I actually think I'm gonna have a quick shower and see if I can maybe rinse and see if there's any bits I miss because it looks like there's some bits at the back that I, um, not real keen on that. It look like they've got much colour on them. So I'm going to shower and I'm definitely going to rinse right now. Well there you have it. Again I have touched up my hair and it is done. I um, was going to curl it but I'm actually going to go train. So I didn't really think it was worth curling my hair. Um, when I'm just going to tie it up in a pony anyways and go work out. So again it's coming, come, uh, the pastel pink seems to be more pulling purple in my hair. I don't know if that's because when I do the, the root, the dark lavender, it seems to run, like run down when I rinse it off. I mean I'm not complaining, it's still nice, I quite like it, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's not the pastel pink. I did touch up the pink, but um, yeah, it's fine. It's similar to the color combo I've done in the past. So there's that extra color that I added. The tealy turquoise color. I much prefer that color in there. I like that contrast it gives. Probably not a fringe I can work out with, but nonetheless, I like it. I think it's cool when you do a pony and stuff. You can leave it out, pull the front out. can see the colour still in the back. I think it's a really nice colour combo. I could probably do half up, half down if I wanted to. To show it off a little bit more. But yeah, very cool. Again, highly rate these bright products. I think they're awesome. Um, yeah. They're always fun. It's high maintenance to an extent to have colored hair. Uh, sweating, I know sweating sometimes uh, will remove the dye from around the perimeter. I notice that obviously when I work out, I work out a lot, so sweating can take the color off, but you know, nothing a little bit of a touch up can't fix. But other than that, it's a fantastic product. Give it a go. I'll link all the colors that I use in the description so that you can, you know, test them out in your hair. Always do a strand test if you're not sure. 
always wear gloves even though I wore gloves um, today when washing out and playing with your hair there is still some like dye that comes out onto them but um yeah and my neck <laughs> whoops whoops <laughs> but yeah other than that I feel fresh girl well, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to go work out and um, do some work back at the gym. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Hopefully it won't be another hair one. But I can't promise anything because... Yeah, I'm definitely not promising that because I have one in the works. Stay tuned for that one. It's not me this time.